Ritu can draw downstream 20 km in 2 hours and upstream 4 km in 2 hours. Find her speed of rowing in still water and the speed of the current. Speed of the current is the current is the flow of water. Right? Gravity is the flow of water. Okay? So, water flow is the direction of the current downward direction. First step is the we will find out the variables. That is the assume. Right. The question. Find her speed of rowing in still water and the speed of the current. So, first step let the speed of rowing in still water be x km per hour and speed of the current be y km per hour. Next, we will find out the upstream and downstream speed. Upstream and downstream explain geometry. Let us stream in a consider here. Okay. First, stream is where the flow is. This the flow in the direction of the stream. Downward direction. The right. flow of water is downward direction. Upstream is where we are going to move the stream in the flow opposite of the stream. That is towards upward. Upward is going to move. Okay. That is where the stream is upward and the flow of water is downward. Okay. So, so upstream ile, namala boat in the speed get reduced ile. Adayadu, when a boat goes upstream, its speed get reduced by the speed of the stream. And then reason, it is opposite direction anu. Ok, namala vada assume jayadu speed of rowing in still water. Still water ile, e boat speed of rowing x km per hour anu. Ok, and speed of the current. Adayadu, e water flow jayinna speed at the y km per hour. And then, the upstream speed and the speed of the speed of the upstream speed and the x minus y. x minus y km per hour. Okay. Next, downstream consider. Downstream explain geometry. This is second figure consider. Okay. If we have a stream, this is the flow of the flow of the downward direction. If we have a downstream, we have a boat. We have a boat moving in this stream and flow in the same direction. That is why we have a downstream. That is the boat moving in the direction and stream flow in the direction is random same. If we have a downstream, the speed is less than that. That is, when a boat goes downstream, its speed get increased by the speed of the stream. And the random same direction anna. So resultant speed and the arikim, increased speed arikim. And if we assume that speed of rowing in still water x km. Anna. So this speed in still water x km anna, and the speed of current y km. Anna. So downstream la speed and the arikim, x plus y km. Upstream speed and downstream speed. Ala. Upstream is upward like a movie. Upward angle speed like downstream the burn downward like a movie speed could the like okay any next step next step and then next step equations to make an based on the conditions or situations given in the question equations to form jana okay and then other one we will find the unknown center and the unknown center values to find out and I'm going to equations to form jana Okay. okay, next question is, Ritu can row downstream 20 km in 2 hours. You don't better consider yeah. Okay. Ritu can row downstream 20 km. So, 20 km is the distance travelled. So, given distance travelled equal to 20 km in 2 hours. Alright. So, time taken is equal to 20 km travel time is equal to 2, two hours. Right? So, time taken is equal to 2 hours. Okay. Next step. Next step. Speed. Speed and then downstream. So, downstream speed is equal to x plus y km per hour. Okay. Next Okay, now we aim and then it is related to the distance, time and speed. Related to the equation form. Speed is equal to distance by time. 
So, here downstream speed that is x plus y equal to distance travel that is 20 by time taken is 2 ok 20 by 2 1 time 10. So, x plus y is equal to 10 mark it as equation number 1. So, question the first part we will solve it. We will equation it. that is x plus y is equal to 10. Alla. Next and the question the second part consider it. one more equation. Vana, alla. If we will explain it in next and upstream that the Ritu can draw upstream 4 km in 2 hours. So, we will say that the distance travelled is equal to 4 km, time taken 2 hours, if it is the logic clear, we will say that downstream is speed is good, within 2 hours 20 km travel is good. And upstream is the speed of the speed. Now, two hours is 4 km. Okay? Okay. Next, upstream speed. Upstream speed is equal to x minus y km per hour. Next, so speed is equal to equation will substitute here that is speed, upstream speed is equal to that is x minus y is equal to distance travelled that is 4 by time taken 2. 4 by 2 cancel 2 times 1. Okay, that is x minus y is equal to 2. Equation number 2. So, we have the equations x plus y is equal to 10 and x minus y is equal to 2. We x and y the coefficients the same. So, we have to directly 1 plus 2 j. Equation number 1 plus 2 gives x plus y plus x minus y equal to 10 plus 2 bracket open here that is x plus y plus x minus y is equal to 10 plus 2 12 minus y plus y equal to 0 x plus x that is 1 x plus 1 x equal to 2 x equal to 12 so x equal to 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 ok next substitute x equal to 6 in equation number 1 so, 6 plus, this equation will substitute y equal to 10. Now, y is equal to 10 minus 6, that is 4. Okay. Result, speed of flowing in still water is equal to 6 km per hour and speed of the current is equal to 4 km per hour. 